Ah, Five Nights at Freddy's, ruining childhood since 2014. But how? Scott Cawthon, the creator of FNAF, believe it or not, did not start with creating FNAF, but he did other projects, like this one. And this one was a kid's game, and it was supposed to attract kids, but here's the bad thing. Kids were scared of this game. So he got an idea. A very awful idea. Scott got the art style of his last game and combined it with Chuck E. Cheese. And it made the masterpiece that is Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, okay, I'll chill out with the dark tone, alright? Alright, I'm, I'm gonna be normal, normal me again, alright? Five Nights at Freddy's is a game that you have five nights. Each night is about from five to six minutes long, something like that. And you have to survive from 12 to 6 a.m. Oh yeah, forgot to mention the deadly animatronics that wanna rip your face off. Yeah, it took me a couple of tries to win. Anyways, how do you protect yourself from these monsters? Or well, animatronics, whatever you wanna call them. Well, you have two doors. You can close them if you wanna keep the animatronics out. Except Golden Freddy, don't stare at him if he comes. The main cast are Bonnie, Freddy, Chica and Foxy. Golden Freddy is just an easter egg. Scott saw that FNAF 1 has blown up, so he decided to make FNAF 2. FNAF 2 is just FNAF 1 but with no doors. But instead, you have this handy dandy mask. If there's an animatronic, just put on the mask. Easy. Oh yeah, did I mention that there was 11 animatronics? Now, the picture doesn't have Balloon Boy, but, well, he's in there. Oh yeah, make sure to wind up that music box, because if you don't, well... <laughs> yeah, and that's basically FNAF 2. Now, on to FNAF 3, which is... <clears throat> Supposedly the last game in the franchise. FNAF 3, instead of 11 animatronics, it has one. Well, it technically has six, but only one can attack you and harm you. Springtrap slash William Afton, he is the guy that can actually harm you. Oh yeah, still no doors. But no doors, no mask, then how do we defend ourselves? Now, you don't. You just have to prevent Springtrap from coming into the room. Now, the other six animatronics cannot kill you, but they can jump scare you and disable one of three things ventilation cameras and audio now on to fnaf 4 now finally doors are back but not in the same way when an animatronic is at the door or if you hear breathing which is basically impossible because of how low it is then shut the door in their face we have nightmare chica nightmare bonnie nightmare freddy and nightmare foxy a lot of nightmares Oh yeah, and there is 8 nights, so brace yourself if you wanna beat this game. Now, what was truly supposed to be the end of the FNAF saga. But until Scott released FNAF World, it's a Nintendo kind of game with Pokemon-like gameplay, so I didn't play it because I hate Pokemon. So, FNAF 5, or FNAF Sister Location, whatever you wanna call it. FNAF 5 is a story-based game. Repair animatronics, crawl through vents, and get your gut scooped out of your body, or go back to OG-style FNAF and fend off against Ennard, it's a handful. FNAF 6 is a tycoon-style game. Now it's time to relax and have... fun. You can create your own pizzeria by night, but by day you need to stay in an underground basement and defend yourself from evil animatronics wanting to rip your face off. While doing some tasks on your PC, and make sure to not keep that fan on for too much or they can hear you. And do not just close it for too much or you're just boiled to death. The next game on our list is FNAF Ultimate Custom Night. And it only has 50 animatronics, something like... No! God, please, no! 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 And how about we see some gameplay from me putting all of them on 20. On to the best game in my opinion, FNAF VR. Well, are you tired of non-scary 2D games that are meant to be scary? 
Well, FNAF Help Wanted VR is the best game for you. This game has FNAF 1, FNAF 2, FNAF 3 in VR. And FNAF 4, kind of. And they added a Halloween mode, which was a DLC that added extra levels. And yes, I did get to play FNAF VR and FNAF VR's DLC, and I finished them and I platinumed them. Yes, I played on the PSVR. I platinum them. Imagine platinuming a horror game. It's so hard. Then we have the biggest game of all FNAF games, FNAF Security Breach. Now, it got delayed, but when it released, it had a lot of bugs. It was the first time FNAF had a AAA game, so it was hard for the developers to develop the game in time and with not having bugs. And yeah, they released a free DLC called FNAF Security Breach Ruin, and I played it and I almost died. Now on to FNAF Help Wanted 2. Let's go! Now, FNAF Help Wanted 2, I did not play it because, yeah, I just did not. But I hopefully will in the future. But it's just basically FNAF Help Wanted 1, but with more levels and more mini games. Now on to the most recent game in the franchise, FNAF Into the Pit, inspired by the Into the Pit book. Yeah, did I mention that there are books? FNAF Into the Pit, which is made by Mega Cat Studios, is a pixel style game and it's the best open world horror game I've played in a long while since Choo Choo Charles. Now that's the end of the games. Now, movies? On October 2023, the FNAF movie released and it hit the world by storm. And I watched it and I liked it so much. But now, that's it. There is nothing. Because the last game was FNAF Into the Pit and that released like two months ago. Five Nights at Freddy's Secrets of the Mimic, which is a VR game. And the FNAF movie 2, September 5th, 2025. And this is the end of this video. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm super sorry for not making the video like for a while now. But I will hopefully make more videos. But for now, I'll see you later. Peace out.